Robin, how are you doing? Yes, it's me. It's Shane Kipple, Spinner from Degrassi. You should know that because even if it's been uh, since the last Degrassi episode that I filmed that you saw this lovely face uh, for the last time, which is about 10 years now, I, I, I think I'm aging like a fine wine, you know? Like the, the face seems the same. The voice is definitely the same. Uh, the, the hair is held out pretty well. Um, so I, I shouldn't really have to explain to you, you, a Degrassi fan and an even bigger uh, Spinner fan, I shouldn't have to prove to you who this is. You should already know. So let's just move past that and uh, forget it was ever a thing at all. So how are you doing? Um, first off, thank you so much uh, for being a fan of Degrassi and uh, that much more for being a fan of Spinner. But I mean, being a fan of Degrassi, uh, and being a fan of Spinner are kind of synonymous. You can't have Degrassi without Spinner, and you can't have Spinner without Degrassi, um, which is why the ratings of the show after Spinner was gone just kind of <whistles> just tanked. Um, it was not a coincidence. How is a show supposed to go on without its beating heart slash backbone? It just ends up being a shapeless, lifeless blob, um, and that's exactly what happened. So Thank you for understanding that Spinner is the best character uh, that has been on Degrassi to date. And even if there is a future series, we know that Spinner is going to be the best character that never even was on that show. A show that doesn't exist yet unless, yes, you guessed it, unless they actually bring back Spinner. But in that case, it's not really a better character than Spinner. It's just a continuation. You get it. You get it. You get what I'm saying over here. Um, so why am I here today? Well, that's very simple. Terry, yes, Terry reached out to me. Um, and obviously, it's uh, this time of year. So it's, it's going to be a... <clears throat> An interesting holiday season, not quite as merry as uh, as many would have liked it for obvious reasons, COVID and not being able to do uh, most of the things that we want to do or uh, spend time with uh, many of the people that we would like to spend time with. Uh, but she thought that, you know, um, all things considered, how could she make you ensure that you have the best possible holiday season slash present um, all things considered, to make you forget about all the things that you might have had and embrace what you now have? And the answer was simple. Just come to me and I'll get it done, you know? So hopefully this is having uh, the impact uh, that uh, she hoped and that I hope uh, because, well, now I'm emotionally invested uh, because I'm an actor and uh, that's it's just very easy for me to become emotionally invested in things that uh, sometimes I, I have no business uh, getting that invested in, but you, you understand. Um, so Terry says some very nice things about you. Uh, you're a great friend. You're a great listener. Um, great listeners are very important. I, I also uh, have been uh, categorized by my friends uh, and family as a great listener, uh, which also means I have a lot of secrets. I get a lot of secrets, but I'm a vault, so, you know, uh, you, you bank on that stuff, and the more secrets you have, secrets are like currency, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, the more secrets you have, you're a great listener, but then people have to hold you in higher regard because you got the dirt, so they know they're not going to backstab you or else it's going to come out a lot worse for them. So being a good listener seems like a, a real noble thing, but secretly it could be a... a a way to, to ensure, um, how you put it, uh, a stranglehold on certain uh, relationships in your life. Or, or you could pull some strings, you know? You, you, you know what I mean. We can all be a little bit evil. Um, she also, she told me that um, you, uh, you got some uh, very uh, scary and unfortunate news uh, recently, some health news. And uh, I am very sorry to hear that. Uh, that I mean... Uh, cancer is, uh, it touches everybody, either, either personally or, or your family or your friends or all, all of that. Uh, I have a lot in my family, um, several cases <clears throat> on the go right now. Um, and, uh, my father, my grandparents, everyone. So, uh, I know it's not an easy road ahead. I know it's it's going to get um, scary. It's going to get hard. But um, I really do hope uh, that 
uh, the treatment and the support that you have uh, is enough to um, to carry you through and uh, to come out uh, to the other side and be in full remission uh, soon enough. I, I really, really, really do hope that for you. Um, but uh, I mean, in between now and then, uh, there are there are going to be some some very very hard times. So I really do hope that you have the support and love around you. It sounds like you do from from your friends at least, um, and and that you get everything you need during this time. Um, I really do hope you have uh, the happiest holidays that you could have, um, and I wish you uh, great health and success in the future. Thank you once again for uh, being a fan and take care of yourself.